from your perspective, how ready is African finance institutions, both banks, fintechs, you know, to integrate these technologies into existing payment systems? And what do you see the biggest roadblocks are that could prevent wider adoption right now? I think the question that you're actually asking is very much uh, important for us to highlight over here. Uh, considering the fact that there is a very big need for Africa to transact with the world. You know, everybody wants to uh, uh, work with Africa. We saw with the G20, there's a lot of deals that are actually going going through. And the biggest drawdown is the fact that it's not seamless to transact with Africa. It, it's, it's not time efficient and it also costs uh, a lot of money, you know. Uh, currently, you know, with our cross-border payments, we've got SWIFT, we've got different providers. And I think, you know, like uh, going back to your question, what's holding us back right now, uh, the people are very much ready for the technology. There's a very big need for it. But I think it's just, uh, you know, the banking systems that we have and the regulation and the rule changes. These are the things that are holding us back. Uh, the quicker that we can actually ad 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 adjust the rules and the laws towards uh, being more efficient and advancing with the times, is the sooner that we can actually get to the, you know, cryptocurrencies and have more efficient payments. 